Hello, it is Wednesday, April 27th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Wednesday puzzle, and actually, I'm on the wrong version of this. We have an intriguing note about this puzzle's theme, so we'll have to figure out what that's all about. Um, And this intriguing episode of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Christina Camtron, and as always, the inestimable hood monster and the invaluable Timothy Mark. So thank you so much to the four of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. Um, They're helping support this channel directly and making it a sustainable part of my daily work. And of course, I do very much appreciate that. And I appreciate all of the people who have backed the Patreon campaign at any tier. So thank you for doing that. And if you yourself do so at patreon.com slash daily solve, you will get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. And you get that extra channel in the daily solve discord chat server. Of course, the, um, the rest of which is free for anybody to join. And you can find a link to that in the description field underneath the video. And finally, please do subscribe to the channel. If you've been enjoying these videos, and you have not done so yet. Um, Thank you to everybody who has. I very much appreciate that. And so, shall we get on to today's puzzle? I think we shall. This is a Wednesday puzzle. Uh, So, maybe a bit more complex than Monday and Tuesday, and I think that will be the case because we have this note I'll read in a moment. This puzzle was constructed by Alex uh, Botch, maybe? I'm not sure how to pronounce that properly. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. And... um, yeah, so we do have this this note. It says, the circled letters reading clockwise starting at the bottom will reveal a hint to this puzzle's theme. And, oh, and this uh, constructor, Alex Botch, maybe, um, is a uh, has constructed a handful of puzzles before. So um, there we have that. And I have this clean version. So sorry, what did this say again? Circled settled set letters reading clockwise starting at the bottom. So there will be one at the very bottom of the grid will reveal a hint to the puzzle's theme. Okay, interesting. And it's funny that it says a hint to the puzzle's theme, because of course we'll need to solve most of the puzzle in order to get that hint. So, interesting. So this one, presumably, is the one at the bottom. And then we'll proceed, did it say clockwise? It did, yes. So we'll proceed around in this pattern. I think that's what that means. And actually, since I'm here, I might as well type this in. So extra bountiful harvest is often referred to as a bumper crop. Should we try? Should we try and go through the clockwise cells? I I don't usually do that sort of thing. I don't usually try to unpick the theme immediately. But because there's this big note, I sort of figured, I don't know, the puzzle's almost inviting us to do so. But who knows if we'll even be able to do that. Fight a needless fight, metaphorically die on a hill, maybe? Not sure. That's not nearly enough letters anyway. It may lead to a no-catch ruling. Oh, I don't know. This will be something sports-related. I don't know. Deals with fries and a beverage, maybe. Combo meals, perhaps? And these are the same. We've already seen all of these. So maybe that's it. Maybe all I have is combo meals and bumper crop. Um, but let's, we can check some of the crosses on that now that we have them. Pretty trim. If you're pretty trim, you're in shape or pretty trim. So it could be an adjective. You are pretty trim. Or it could be trim, a noun. That is pretty. Um, I don't know if that C, Rococo, is coming to mind. But that's not really... That's a style rather than trim itself. Up in the air could be a loft. An hourglass, e.g., is a timer of sorts. And to flow back is ebb, as in the ebb and flow of a tide. 2016 Olympics host and formerly Rio, right? And a cover story is an alibi. Peace out, it's later. Oh, so pretty trim. It could be trim on a dress, so lace... Lace work? Lace what? Country north of the Firth of Forth. Could be Fife in Scotland. 
County, sorry, did I say country? County north of the Firth of Forth, which is in Scotland. Um, what is this? Sorry, it's probably very obvious to many of you. I'm sorry. Fruity Soda brand is Fanta, Fanta, Fanta. And type of shake, a malt, malt shake, malted shake. Type of milkshake is what that is referring to. Three or more on a semi. So this would be a, a semi truck, a, a big, you know, a big rig on a highway. Um, and it'll have three or more axles as opposed to, you know, an ordinary passenger car or truck with two axles. Name often called in a smart home. Oh, Alexa, the... Um, is that Amazon? I think that's the Amazon one, Alexa. Amazon Alexa, is that right? I think so. And Tuft and Needle competitor. I'm not sure what Tuft and Needle is off the top of my head. What about this? Stack. A stack of something is a pile of it. Tude. So here we have Tude contracted from attitude. So you're giving someone attitude. You're giving someone sass or lip. You're being smart. Certain vipers are asps, the snakes, and Star Wars General with the line, if you see our son, bring him home. That's General Leia from one of the new Star Wars movies, I guess. Um, the first one, I think. The first of the new ones. And Tuft and Needle competitor. Sealy? Is that, is that a mattress brand? Is that what this is? I suppose that would sort of make sense. Tuft and Needle? Let's see. Does that help here? It may lead to a no-catch ruling. Um, some kind of play, I'm guessing, because of the sports connection. Let's see if that P helps. To be in limbo is to pend. Something is in progress or being held, but not progressing. Screen as a potential running mate. So in this case, running mate for elected office. And you would vet somebody is the term used to investigate them for potential, I don't know, undesirable elements of their past. Jazz pianist Bill, Bill Evans is a great, great jazz pianist. So there we have that. It may lead to a no catch ruling. Um, I don't know, I'm sorry. Ah, that's very frustrating. <laughs> and not square in a way. Um, it could be, I mean, obviously the first, well, it's not obvious. You could, and you could think of any different meaning of square here, but the first thing I thought of was not square as in a square number, like nine, which is uh, three squared, for instance. But uh, I think it's probably means not square in a financial sense, as in you still owe money to somebody. So you aren't yet square, you're owing to them. Oh, so is this just lacing? Of, so why didn't I think of that? <laughs> sort of the most obvious way to turn uh, to the, the most obvious other form of the word lace would be lacing. In other words, pretty trim on a dress, for instance, lacing. Um, so there we have it. It may lead to a no catch ruling. Don't know. Um, city nicknamed Rubber Capital of the World. I'm not sure. Cygnus Constellation with the... The Swan, right, sorry, of course, Cygnus the Swan. <laughs> Had a blank moment there. Uh, drollery is um, wit. It's droll. It's dryly funny. 29 down residence. So what is 29 down? Place for mucking around. It could be a sty as in a pigsty. And what's often kept under cover, a sheet, I guess. Your sheet's under the covers. To fight a needless fight. Oh, right. This is one of our theme clues. To fight a needless fight, metaphorically. Take a... Not sure. What about this? Thrill Seekers acronymic motto. 
YOLO, you only live once, I assume that is. And to hook up with something is to tie it to something else, I would think. Um, oh, instant replay. Instant replay, this must be. I see. It may lead to a no-catch ruling. So you have your instant replay and you can see the thing that was attempted uh, on on tape, on video, and then that may lead to a ruling. Okay, uh, understood. So, Christina of 1991's The Adams Family, Christina Ricci must be, and City, oh right, City nicknamed Rubber Capital of the World. Um, oh, something Ohio? Akron, Ohio? That is a city, certainly. So let's see, do we do we have any clues as to this word? So we have P, I, oh, pinball. Pinball. Oh, <laughs> pinball. So combo is a pinball concept. And replay, you can replay a ball in pinball. And bumpers are the um, the control the the uh, control mechanisms, the paddles, I think, in pinball, right? And then oh, tilt, tilt is a concept in pinball. When you physically tilt the machine, that will um, be penalized for that. So, fighting need with oh, tilt at windmills. So this is metaphorically, this is a reference to uh, Don Quixote, who the um, of the famous novel who. Uh, tilted in the in the jousting sense at windmills all right so oh no we're still missing one oh i don't think i ever looked at this clue one with a quintessential mick job oh a burger burger flipper which i sort of was nudged towards because flippers are actually so sorry so bumper maybe bumpers isn't maybe flippers are what i was thinking of when i said bumpers so maybe flippers are the control mechanism in pinball that actually hit that that you control to hit the ball and then bumpers maybe are just elements in the pinball um i don't even know what you'd call it but in the machine that the ball bounces off of that must be the case so yeah so i think we have all of them we have our combo our replay our tilt our flipper and our bumper and these all are related to pinball, our theme. So that's very clever. And I wonder, I wonder what the constructor intended. Did the constructor intend here for, because I guess if I had just solved this all normally, yeah, I wouldn't, I don't think I would have, I'm, I'm fairly certain I wouldn't have noticed the pinball connection until getting this word spelled out. So I think that must be what was intended or not necessarily what was intended but but why the clue at the beginning said um this will give you a hint as to the theme because you could cons- you can complete this whole puzzle without even understanding what this theme was and so i yeah but anyway we did it a bit out of order but i think that was fine let's go back to the puzzle we never even looked at our one across actually one inclined to go in and out um a ramp so it's it's inclined Physically, it is literally inclined. It is at an incline and you go in and out of a building or something like that. Where one may purchase a sectional with the side of meatballs, Ikea, which famously um, sells meatballs as well as furniture. And so sectional in this case, referring to um, a sectional sofa. Stuff is cram. You could cram something into a compartment, maybe? Actress Greer, Pam Greer, yes. Uh, and has the best intentions, uh, means well. There we go. And so to hornswoggle somebody is to con them. All right. So I think we've looked at all of the answers up there. Let's keep going. Like festive houses during the holidays, you, they could be lit up with with lights. And a potted succulent is a an aloe plant. There we go. Aloe, one of the more common... New York Times crossword plants, certainly, although very rarely in this form, usually just as aloe rather than aloe plant. It's unusual. Until we meet again, I'll see you? Yeah, that looks right. And cable alternative, oh, this came up in the crossword the other day as well, DSL, which was one of the um, forms of um, internet connection that was... uh, 
the fast one before cable became the new fast one for, for sort of normal residences. So if you put something down, you laid it down. And as I, as I always mention, but in case you're new, the parenthetical phrase here means we will apply it not just to the clue put down, but also to the answer laid down. And it just makes it makes them a closer match. If the if the clue was simply put, laid would be, I mean, you, you could be an accurate definition in this context, but you wouldn't, it would be much harder to, to arrive at that. So the down helps us out. We say, oh, put down, oh, laid down. I see that makes sense. So it's just a little bit of a, a bit of a help. Ring around a lagoon, atoll, and uh, as in bikini atoll, for instance. And one time presidential daughter with the code name Radiance, it must be Malia Obama, and swings around um, slews. Yeah, it must be. Evade capture is to slip by your pursuer. Director Kazan is Elia Kazan, um, film director, that is. And regional greenery is flora, as in the flora and fauna, the sort of plant life and animal life of a given environment. Any Scrubs or Friends episode now? Well, any one of them now is a rerun. And because this is an or clue, it's singular, even though we're referring to two different programs, we're only... Um, we're referencing two programs, but the clue itself is only referring to one of them because it's an or. Community far from a city's center, an exurb, I suppose. Uh, the X indicating it's, you know, it's outside, it's, it's distance. Roman numeral, okay, I was going to say the CX looks strange, but then we see it's a Roman numeral, so it doesn't look all that strange. Roman numeral equal to 12 percent, oh, I see, 12% of M. So M being 1,000. So 12% of that would be 120. So C for 100 and two, oops, two X's for two tens to make 20. So 120. Blank on the ig pay atin lay. So this is pig Latin, uh, ixne on the ig pay atin lay, which would be uh, nix on the pig Latin, if you decode that in pig Latin form. Big retailer of camping gear. So the way that the way that works, by the way, is you take the the last uh, sort of not quite syllable, but the last consonant that you can create from the end of a word, move it to the beginning, and then simply add a y to the end of the the construction. So big would be uh, well, that's actually a bad example. Sorry. Uh, Later would be rate lay, I guess, because you take the R from the end of later, put it at the beginning, and then put A Y at the end. Yeah. Anyway, I haven't thought about that in many, many years. Cheese board staple. Uh, brie, I guess. You're assembling a cheese board. You might have some brie cheese. And hairstyle that sounds edible. A bun, I suppose. Twenty. Oh, I never looked back at this, right? I remember looking at sty because I encountered this clue, and then I forgot to ever go back to it. So... Uh, residents of a sty are swine pigs and top 40 songs are hits and then raps young thug is the name of a rapper and then uh, cried foul umped i think this must be referring to an umpire in baseball uh, in other words if you cried foul it might be because you umped you served as an umpire and the question mark there indicates a bit of pun or wordplay. So obviously this is a little strange <laughs> matching cried foul to ump. It's sort of awkward, um, but it's because we're, uh, we have that wordplay indicator. Thumper's forest friend. So Thumper was the uh, rabbit character from Bambi. So Bambi must be the answer here. And takes time off could be rests maybe, but let's check that. Bruce on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Bruce Lee, surely. Two in a two-car garage. Um, bays, uh, automobile bays for the two-car garage. And a chest chest protector is a bib, I suppose, if you're uh, eating and you'd want to avoid getting food on your shirt, you could wear a bib. Um, playing extra minutes briefly would be in OT, in overtime. Um, not in regulation time, as I learned the other day. Heater measures are um, BTUs, which I don't remember what BTUs stand for. I know that it is. I know that it is a, a, a relevant measure to heating. Um, 
Yeah, what does it stand for? Uh, something units? I don't know. Someone will tell me now that I've indicated I don't know. So I'll, I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> um, parched could be arid as in very dry. Oops. Group with the tribute band, Bjorn again. <laughs> Must be ABBA, uh, referencing Bjorn. And same with me could be as am I. And one alleging injury, perhaps, is a sewer, one who sues, brings a lawsuit. And then in the crosses here, we have singer Rexa, which is Bebe Rexa. Not familiar with that singer, but looks like the answer. And it is. And there we go. So we've we've completed our puzzle with the um, clockwise arrangement of letters spelling pinball and referencing uh, combo, replay, tilt, flipper, and bumper. So there we go. I've already sort of talked through this theme a bit. Um, but yes, it was very interesting the way that it sort of indicates that you're getting a hint at the theme, but really it's a, it's really a retrospective hint. You, you, you have to have solved most of the theme in order to even get, I guess, actually, I suppose I didn't think about this. I guess conceivably you could solve, you could get all these letters through the vertical answers and then you wouldn't have, yeah, that would be a funny way to try and solve this puzzle. It didn't, didn't occur to me, but it doesn't really matter. But yes, you could get all of these through the verticals, and then you could arrive at the pinball clue before getting any of the um, theme answers that involve pinball. So yes, I wonder if anyone, I'm sure there are people who have solved this puzzle who did it that way. Um, certainly wouldn't be the uh, the default choice. Anyway, fun, interesting Wednesday puzzle and a theme that uh, came together quite well in the end. And so with that done, we can move on to the, we can move on to clues from yesterday's puzzle. So uh, Mr. EQ explains that a Bahama mama, which was a phrase that was sort of vaguely familiar to me, but I didn't exactly know what it is, is a cocktail, which I actually didn't know. It is danger dangerously delicious, says Mr. EQ. Uh, our orange juice, pineapple juice, lime juice, and a good helping of dark rum. Honestly, that sounds like a lot of tiki cocktails. It could, it could almost be a planter's punch or something like that. Um, I, uh, I have made quite a lot of tiki cocktails in my time, but not a Bahama Mama, if that, if that is indeed classified as one. And... Uh, Mr. EQ actually comments on another answer here, explaining, on the topic of the gerund, by the way, which are the a, a, a verb ending in ing, like playing, for instance. On the topic of the gerund, by the way, instead of thinking it as the noun version of the verb, it's more accurate to think of it as just a progressive tense, i.e. the action you are doing this very second. I'm writing, you're reading, she's solving, e.g. In English, the decision was made to also use the progressive tense for the noun version of a verb, but in other languages that differs quite a bit. So it's more that they happen to coincide rather than the gerund and the noun version being the same thing universally. I see. I had thought that a gerund was the noun version. So the not, in other words, not the progressive tense, in other words, I'm playing, but rather I like playing. So when it's actually used as a noun in that context, but I'm not a linguist. And so I would definitely trust someone else's understanding of it better than mine. So thank you, Mr. EQ, for those two explanations. I appreciate that. Um, MK explains the name Trixie Mattel. She's one of the most popular drag queens of the RuPaul's Drag Race era. I'm sure you'll look her up and end up seeing a picture. Think of her as a cross between Dolly Parton, Barbie, and a clown. And while her being musical had nothing to do with this puzzle in the end, she does, in fact, fairly regularly release country music. Interesting. So thank you for that um, explanation. And indeed, I'm, I'm not very familiar with RuPaul's Drag Race, so that would explain my unfamiliarity, unfamiliarity with that word. Uh, sorry, no, that name, I should say. Um, Alan Iton says... Don't worry too hard about missing clues. It shows your speed and gives me something to look for. For example, today you missed 40 across. Actor Holland of Spider-Man films, which is Tom. So <laughs> thank you, Elon Etan. I, once again, I even, I think yesterday I even said, I'm going to try not to miss any of these today. And apparently I still missed one. So whoops. Uh, thank you though for catching my oversight. I appreciate it. 
And that's that, I think, for today's puzzle. So thank you to everybody who has joined me. And um, I hope you come back tomorrow for the Thursday puzzle where, puzzle where we will really step up the theme complexity, presumably. Um, that is the way of Thursday puzzles. So I hope you join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Wednesday. Take care. Mm-hmm.